Welcome to the game room, Waller D. We're back for more Mega Man X soft type, and unfortunately, this last stage is probably the most boring out of all of them. There are literally no differences to discuss. If anything, the bosses feel very similar, maybe a little faster. The only thing that's really different is the guy that stars in this place. So let's say hello to Sting Chameleon and pretty much blaze the trail through a stage because it's not really that different. I mean, it's kind of like a little disappointing in its lackingness, but it still has water. It's still, even if you defeated uh, Launch Octopus, it'll still have the water that you're looking for. It's, it's just kind of like, man, really? They could have done something. No, they just made everything a little bit faster and a little bit stronger. And before we go up there, because there is clearly something up there, we're going to break this wall down. Make a nice little defiant leap against the uh, forces of gravity and water. And then grab that heart tank. And that is, I think, the second to last. That might actually be all the heart... No, wait, we have one less. One more left to get. Then we're going to say hello to a particular uh, celebrity back in the old days, or at least his tw cousin twice removed, Autos. I don't know if this is actually his name, but this guy is pretty much going to be a meat, or pretty much a wall of meat, or I guess a wall of circuitry, because unfortunately he's a very persistent moron, because all he does is this. However, if you happen to get him near the wall... Come on, show us your moves. He might do this, he might drag himself towards the wall to cause you a little bit of a fake out. That's about it. Everything else about this boss is kind of eh. Definitely don't want to get hit. Okay, I really don't like you grabbing that wall because I can't really focus. Yeah, this is what you should do. You should just have him try to grab air like 20 times because this makes the fight a lot, go a lot faster. And if you have a move that can like tear him up, like probably Fire Wave, let's see if Fire Wave actually works, for example. Yeah, kind of. Wow, Fire Wave, you are so terrible. Like, I use it for two seconds and it's gone. Ugh. Yeah, unfortunately, Fire Wave is really good for damage, but when it comes to anything else, especially in this uh, modification, you're better off using any other weapon. Like, y yikes. And you're dead. Sorry, Autos, brother. Hi, Light. How you doing? Because we're going to get something really good from this guy. I mean, it's you already know what it is, but... To get or to take 25% less damage is a bit of a godsend right now. Thank you, Dr. Light. Thank you for your beard and your contribution to Mega Man X's lifespan. Because the 25% is going to be sorely needed in the later stages. Trust me on this. I really hate this thing sometimes where it kind of gets stuck. And if you were to happen to go into this tunnel before taking on Otto's brother, you would have been dealing with falling rocks. But here, guess what? The helmet would have protected you until it hits you in the leg, then you take damage. If you really don't want to fight these things, you can just do this. Just dash jump over them. You won't have to worry about taking that damage. And this level is now pretty much the same as you would expect. Things move faster, have a little bit more. But be careful of the freaking uh, commando mats. They're trying to snipe us with their bugs. And being generous. No extra life here. And we're going to skip that, because honestly, there's no point. One thing I've learned about a particular Game Boy Mega Man X game is that this area was kind of remixed in that game with one of the stages. I think Neon Tiger was the uh, maverick of that spot, and that was pointless to me. And basically what happened is they just filled this area full of spikes, and then you had to ride, use the ride armor to get across it. It's kind of interesting how they could have maybe done that here. Maybe, just a thought. Who knows, but it, it's, it was kind of an interesting change that I died on more than a couple times. But now, we gotta deal with possibly the worst and most difficult Maverick in this game. Sting Chameleon. Sting Chameleon. This guy hits like a damn truck now, and you won't, don't want to touch the spikes on this feeling. They will kill you instantly. I got really lucky there, but those spikes are really hard to dodge, and they do about four, I feel like four bars of damage. That is much faster. You cannot, you have a lot less time to deal with that barrage. Ah, 
damn. But if you're having trouble with this boss, and I really recommend be this being the last boss, because, uh... Honestly, you don't want to deal with with this guy without his weakness. Oh, you're just gonna give me no space. Because he has a very good weakness in terms of all. Like the probably one of the better weaknesses in this game. The fact that you have such a fun time putting him in a loop. It's not say Spark Mandro funny, but it's pretty damn funny. Oh god, please do not lash me with that tongue. That tongue does about I wanna say six bars of damage. Yep, that's pretty significant. So this guy is more of a boss that's gonna just take you out with, uh... With that, just tons of, like, small hits over time. You definitely might need a tank or two to beat this guy without the without his weakness. Not to mention these attacks. Like, staying here is safe, but still, you want to try to get a hit in, because he rarely get, lets you have a chance to hit him. Alright, but then, if you have his weakness, hilarity ensues. Bye. Yeah, that is the reason why you want to bring Boomerang Cutter for this fight, because to be able to pretty much make a mockery of him at the end of the really tough fight, it's, it's satisfying. It's really good. It's, like, I would say therapeutic. So, we got ourselves one of the best, and I do mean one of the best, weapons in the game, but probably with one of the laziest names. He basically just flips his name around, that's how it works. But it has the ability to... I guess we gotta talk to Zero first. Sup, Zero? You like my new armor and everything? Oh, that's even better news. I like that he's... Just saying we should go in together. It's not like Zero before where he's like, you know what, just stay home, be careful. Don't, don't sprain your ankle. No, he's like saying, let's go X, let's kick some ass. I'm ready for that, but we still have some unfinished business to do. For example, we got some stuff to collect, like this, for starters. So let me get to exactly to that point where it matters. Alright, so we made it here. Here's what you're thinking. Oh, maybe you could go down there and probably grab- You could, but honestly, the question is, should you? You're better off just doing this, because this is one of the main reasons why you enjoy getting this particular special weapon. The ability to grant yourself temporary invincibility is pretty much bar none in terms of usability or usefulness. So... By all means, if you want to go down there and take a dip, I'm going to show you how much damage that would still do bes or besides having full kitted armor and everything. That's half my fucking health, guys. Don't do that. Just, just grab the chameleon sting and charge it up to full. I mean, you could possibly get it, but there's a risk that you'll fail and you have to redo that whole beginning section again. Not my kind of thing. So now that we have all, and I do mean all of the stuff that we could possibly collect, we are going to head to Stink, or not Stink Chameleons. <laughs> God, I got them on the brains because all the fighting we had to do. We're going to go back to Armor Armadillo, and I'm going to show off this nice little thing where you dash at the last minute. Oh, crap! You can still save yourself, though. So hold on just a moment. I want to. I wanted to try this real quick. I want to outrun this. See how fun it is. Also, want to break, grab these real quick because need to get these uh, tanks up. Awesome. Good job. I win the race though. I also want to race up the second one because that's going to be even more fun and probably going to kill me in one hit. Uh, I have my suspicions. All right, let's give this a shot. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> okay, this is actually kind of fun. Holy crap. So as you can see, look at his... I win! Oh, fuck! Okay, uh... Lessons learned. Don't gloat near the freaking pit. Alright, we made it to the card of destiny. I probably should have health. Oh, thank you, Matt. Yeah, those... 
those freaking bats are the only way you're gonna take damage. Maybe with these damn birds, and trust me when I say this, do not let these birds hit you, because you might plummet to your death. Only one time you need to, t to get here, which is great. What you got for me, Dr. Light? Why are you looking like you are ready for a freaking dojo fight? Well, there's only one reason. If you haven't pieced things together, I'm sorry to tell you, but you have are going to get spoiled. Mega Man, you now have crossed the boundaries of space and time to Hadouken. And the way to do it is you just want to down forward and then press the Y button. It's You just buffer it. You don't have to actually like, do it at the same time. So buffer, Y. Buffer, Y. So down forward and then why. Like, the fact that it's a little bit easier to do and you don't have to do it at the same time, which felt like that was the case in the original, well, uh, it does make things a lot easier. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to show off how much damage it does against bosses, because guess what? You can refight bosses in this modification. They are kind enough to say, I'm not dead yet. Oh, did you just block my Adoken? Piece of crap. Okay, so we got a little, we got a little uh, con artist. Oh, of course, when I, you also have to watch out for that. So be patient. There you go. It's about a third of his damage. Let's see if I can finish him off with just Adolkins. When he doesn't block, when he blocks it, that makes it a little tougher. Damn. All right, buddy. You know what? Let's see you block it after this. Get that armor off. Show the world what you're really made of. Oh, of course, when you're flashing like that, that doesn't help. There we go. There we go. Perfect. I mean, with help, but perfect. So, right, so that is a nice showcase of what Hadou- I love how Mega Man is like- Dude, I don't have time to freaking pose. Let's get the hell out of here. That is funny. I like that. So, now that we've gotten all the necessary tools to kick this sorry guy's ass, let's take a dive into Sigma's Fortress next video. I really hope you enjoyed this little showcase of uh, Mega Man X Soft Type. I really am enjoying what you have put together here, Heart Hunt. And next time, we're going to be seeing just how crazy the Sigma stages are. They are kind of nuts, so, but not insane. It gets worse and worse as you get closer to the end, though. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and adios.